Hi, this is Kevin with KNA Games, and uh, we just want to give you a real quick uh, playthrough demo video of Space Movers and let you see a couple of terms. Uh, a couple of things you may want to know before watching the video. Um, the story begins in a comic book called Finding Liberty. Uh, this book tells the backstory of the characters that you're going to play and the universe they live in and how they came together and how they came to be on the ship Liberty. Uh, it's a beautiful com uh, comic with uh, great artwork. Uh, we really believe this sets up the story uh, very well and you'll actually continue the story. As you see, it's to be continued on turn one of Space Movers. The story is continued as you play on objective cards, which will be found here. You see the first set uh, I have in my hand here is objective card one through five, and the artwork matches the comic, and it has uh, objectives on the back that you have to complete in order to win the game. Once you complete objective card five, uh, the crew is won. But there are several ways to lose the game before you can complete them. Uh, the first being the resources. This is the resource bar. This will drop each turn. If it ever reaches the bottom, the crew loses. Another way the crew can lose is when a UO Pursuit card is drawn. That's this card here. It plays to the table. The UO Scout Ship enters the board, enters play. An eye marker is placed on the planet where Liberty was spotted, in this case Earth, and this goes up. If this track ever reaches the top, the crew loses. The only way to get rid of the cards that are on the board is by completing the skill check. Skill checks are the key part of Space Movers and they happen in the box lid and you roll dice to complete the skill check. When you attempt a skill check in Space Movers, the box is put on a special stand and placed on the board, and the dice will be rolled into the box. And depending on the skills needed, in this case we need uh, piloting, mechanical, strength and intelligence, characters have abilities on their character's card that match those skills, so that will be the characters that need to roll the dice. So what we're going to give you here is just a quick play through of a few turns and get through a couple of objective cards and you can kind of see how the game flow goes. Now with me here is David and April to play a few turns of Space Movers. We're going to get through maybe an objective card or two. Uh, I've chosen the character Eli and my special abilities are any turn I'm the pilot so when I activate the bridge board space I can move the Liberty two spaces instead of one. And on my turn, I'm a natural leader, I can choose one other player. Uh, he or she adds one to their die results at the end of the skill check this turn. So David is Lucas. Okay, I'm Lucas. I, on any turn, I'm gifted. So you may attempt any skill check outside your listed roll skills at minus one. And then on my turn, as the engineer, the drone can move three planet board spaces instead of two when activating the drone room board space. I am Boom, and during any turn, uh, during the cleanup phase, I can exchange a card with one other player, and during my turn, when I participate in a skill check, I can roll the blank die one additional time. Okay, so those skills give our characters a little personality, and we can use that stuff to help us throughout. Uh, Liberty starts on Earth, and we're experienced players, so we're going to start the resource bar at 75%. And the beginning of the game, the first thing you do is you have somebody read the top objective card, so you know what we need to do. Objective one, flip this card once the first cargo has been delivered. Okay, so we need to deliver a cargo so we can get that objective card started. Um, of course, the characters that aren't in the game, we still use their dice during skill checks and their character cards set out so you can tell if they're injured or not. Uh, so we're ready to start the first turn. April, can you start with the first player? Okay, phase one is draw a card. And we drew an event. Uh, it's called Fast Pursuit, and it says add one to the UO Scout Ship's movement while this card is on the board. So the event plays to the little event section on the board. Okay, so I'm going to... I'm not going to move my character. I'm going to move this ship off of Earth. So phase two is movement, and you can move the ship one space. And you move via the roofs that connect the planets, you can move from one planet to the next, and you can also move your character from one space on Liberty to another. So are you gonna, no. not gonna, so you're gonna stay where you're at on um, Liberty? 
and I will attempt to um, this event card. Okay, any of the cards that are on the board, the objectives or the event or the pursuit, you can do those as an action. You can try to clear that card off the board by completing that objective. To do the objectives, we put the box on the board and we have to do the rolls. Each character has a skill. This one requires black, which is Eli, which is me, the black die. It requires the green die, which is not in the game, so April will roll that. The active player will roll that. And it requires one wild, which is intelligence, so she chooses who rolls. Yeah, David. Okay. Well, David roll for and that. now you determine the order. Uh, I'm going to roll first. Nine. Sure, nine. Who do you want to roll next? Okay. Next. I roll a three, three. which is a fail. So the green is a pass, the black is a fail. Okay, the yellow is a pass, the green is a pass, the black is still a fail, so we roll a blank die at the end of the check to make one last attempt. Fortunately, Boone gets a second <laughs> chance. My, any, my, your turn is to roll the blank die one additional time. So she gets a second shot. Hit. I did hit it. She did hit it, it and she got a five. So we got a, a nine on the green, a five on the black, and an eight on the yellow. We need fives or higher, so all three pass. The card is cleared. Back to everybody. Excellent. It's been my turn. End of the turn, the resource bar drops and it goes to the next player. Draw a card. I drew a cargo that picks up on planet April, so I put a cargo cube there to represent that there is a pickup there. So everybody knows I've got a card that has to pick up there. So. First objective flips when we do our first cargo, so we need to head towards April. I can get us there fast because of my ability, so I'm going to move the Liberty to Abram during the movement. I'm going to move myself to the bridge where I already am, and the bridge says jump Liberty from its current location to an adjacent planet board space, but my skill as the pilot, when I activate the bridge, I can move Liberty two spaces, so I'm going to move there, there, and we are where we need to be, and my turn is over. Okay. This turn. So I draw a card. It's a reaction. Okay. I will move to the kitchen and I will instruct the appropriate person to pick up their cargo on April. So he's given his action to me. It says choose another player to perform an action of your choice immediately. He wants me to pick up the cargo on April. So I'm picking up the cube. Play it to the table in front of me with the cargo cube on it so we know that's been picked up. Now it delivers to Capri, so whenever we're on Capri, I can do an action and discard it, and we would gain four resources when we do that. So we've got to get here to deliver that cargo. Or drone it. Or use the drone to get there. So David's turn is over because he gave mm -hmm. me his action, so we drop the resources and it's April's turn. Um, I'm going to move the ship to burn. To move to the cargo bay, and the action on the cargo bay allows me to search the deck for a cargo card. says launch the drone to a planet board space up to two away from Liberty. Delivery drone may deliver cargo in play from Liberty. So I'm going to use the drone to travel to Capri. I have to leave the drone there, but I can use that to deliver the cargo that's in front of me. So it says to when Liberty is on Capri, but the drone is in our place in this case, discard this card from the table and gain four resources. So discard it, discard the cube, and we get one, two, three, four resources. The first cargo has been delivered so that first objective card flips over. The cargo you are carrying turns out to be a stolen time travel module. You must hide it on Earth before you are discovered by the UO. If the UO ship catches you with this card face up on the board, the crew loses the game immediately. Action. When Liberty is on Earth, you may attempt the skill check below. If successful, move this card to the bottom of the stack and reveal objective two. Okay, so that was the end of my turn because I used my action to deliver the drone and the cargo, so resource card drops is David's turn. 
Uh, reaction card. So now, we must go to Earth. I will move the ship. I will move myself to the bridge. I will activate a can and move Liberty to Kepler. So now phase resources drop. And that's April's turn. Pursuit. Okay, so when the Euro Pursuit card is drawn, that card is placed to the board. The Euro ship goes to a starting location. An eye marker is placed on the board where it spotted us, which in this case is Kepler, and the Euro uh, bar moves up one space, and again, if that gets all the way up to the top, we lose, so we don't want that to get out of control. And keep in mind, too, that the objective card said in play that if the you upper ship catches us, we lose the game immediately, so we really don't want that ship to catch us. Right. Okay, so I am going to move to Earth. I'm move myself to the engine room that allows me to do two card actions, and I'm going to try to do both cards. Okay, the engine room says if your character is located here, you may perform two card actions on your turn. It must be from different cards, so she's going to try to do the objective card, which requires us to be on Earth, which we are, and the UF Pursuit card to get rid of that ship on our turn. So we'll see the UF Pursuit first, which is blue, yellow, and any other. Okay, so you have to roll the blue since they're out of the game. Alright, I'm going to go first. Good. It's your choice. It's your turn. It's a three. So you can hit that one, but not the blue one. Did. Mission You're accomplished. The UO is moved, removed from the board, so that's not going to hurt us. We ditched the UO. Alright, and now we've got two others, so if you want to roll, okay. and I'll roll. Okay. Seven. Seven is a pass. Four is a fail, so she gets to roll the blank die to try to. Hit it, it's still a four. Hit it, but it's stay a four. And so. on my turn, when I participate in a skill check, I can move the blank down one additional time. So we're going to try that. Yes. It passes. It passes. Yes. So that objective um, card goes to the bottom of the stack and you can read and the next object. Deck is number two. The time module is powered by three unique crystals. The UO is hiding these in containment warehouses that are scattered across the system. The first crystal is located on April. Flip this card once you reach April. So that's the end of your turn, card. Yes. So the resources drop. Who has the pickup on Kepler? That's not me. It must be April. Mm -hmm. The bad news is I drew another UO Pursuit, which goes to the board. The good news is we got rid of the other one. Yep. So now I marker goes on her, marker goes up. So I'm going to move Liberty to Kepler. I'm going to move the kitchen. Choose another player to perform an action of your choice immediately. I'm going to choose to have April pick up her cargo on Kepler. So she's picked up that. That's the end of my turn. Resources drop. It's David's turn. I'll leave you up. Moves also. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. So they go, they go the shortest distance. No, nope, it's a tie. So we flip the coin on ties, decide whether they go left or right. They go left. So they go to Wells, and it's still David's turn now. Give them a hint. Oh, great. Engine failure. Liberty cannot move as long as this card is on the board. Okay. We're on Kepler, and so we are stuck there. Okay. <laughs> Why don't I move to the engine room and try to do both of these? Okay. So, let's try the event first. It's April, it's me, it's a wild card, so we'll let Kevin go, and we'll just start with April and go around the horn. Yeah. 
it's a zero, which is uh, in the game will be a medical symbol, which means the character is injured if it stays on that at the end of the check. So we really want to try to hit that die to get it. Three chances to yes. alleviate this error. I missed, but the black the is successful. Says, I moved it. Oh, oh no! no. Alright, so the yellow is now injured. What is what are the It stayed there? zero. Oh no! So we've got two injured characters in the box with just one die left. He's gonna try a pool shot here. Would you believe I did it and they stayed zeros? Oh my gosh. Both of them? <sighs> no. Okay, so that check ended with a pass on the black die. The yellow and purple die ended up on injuries. And I don't get to do this because I'm injured now. That's right. Great hit. So the injured characters flip their cards over and they move their tokens to medical bay. We're in adjoining beds in the same ward. <laughs> so we're in a mess. Um, so the resources drop at the end of the turn. The UO ship moves one closer. So he's now there, and it is April's turn, but she's injured, so she has her own special turn sequence on the back of the So card. my turn sequence, I still draw a card, which is a cargo uh, I can still move the ship, but we can't move the ship. Because of the event. Because of the event. Uh, and then the only action I can perform is an attempt to heal myself. So, do a skill check. I subtract two from my die roll, so I'm going to have to get a seven or better to heal myself. I got a three. And a five. So. <laughs> oh. Reaction. Add two to the last number die roll. You can't play cards if you're injured. Ah. Oh, you're injured. <laughs> I'm injured too. I but forgot. I'm, I am not injured. Did you pick up both dice? No. no. Okay. Uh, have another player re-roll the last die here, she rolls, so you can roll the blank die. Okay. Additional time. Darn. Seven! Ooh, she did it! Yes. Excellent. Good card play. So, Boom is no longer injured, so that card gets put back over. The character can stand up. End of my turn, Lou. So that's the end of your Clean up phase. The, the UO. This is the other tie. Go that way or this way. Resources have dropped. We flip the coin to see how they move. Lift. The U O R lift us. It's this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they are two away from us, and we still can't move. But it's now my turn, and I'm thankfully not injured. This needs to be a good card. It's a reaction card, so it's good. Not a bad use, though. The event card, I have to roll. <laughs> yeah. you at least but the U O pursuit, I don't. Try to get rid of the UO pursuit since we can do that. It's blue red. Mm -hmm. the blue die, the red die, which I'll be rolling. I'm just going to roll all three so we don't get April injured again. That way, this will have another turn. So I'm going to roll all the dice. I'm going to choose to roll my die first, my Eli die first. That way, if he gets injured, I'll have a couple dice to try to. It's a four, that's a fail. Okay, the black is a pass with an eight. The red is still a, is a fail now with a one. I need to try to strike the red bag, but not the black. Okay, the black guy is still a pass, but the blue and red are both fails. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to hit both dice with the blank die. I did not. Um, red is a fail, <laughs> blue is a fail, black is a pass. So I did not get rid of them. Meanwhile, so, back at the ranch. End of my turn, the resources drop, the UO moves to Earth. They're now one away from us. We don't want them to get in the same space as us because if they do, they're going to take somebody off the crew into interrogation. And it's now my turn. And I'm injured. Okay, so they're going to catch us. Well. I can't attempt that because I'm injured, so the only thing I can do is to try to heal myself. You draw a card first. Well, which I can't play. <laughs> uh, we have a cargo on top of it. 
One thing you can do is try to. Not that I can pick it up. Heal his character. I'm gonna get the blank that, whatever it may be. Control 7. What kind of. I did not. Hey, I did! I changed it to a 7. So Lucas has healed and put this card back over. But here's the bad news. That was an action for that turn. So if the resources drop at the end of the turn, you clean up. And the UO ship moves one closer to Liberty, which brings it in the same space as Liberty. Which means the possibility of a random character being taken to interrogation, which would get them out of the game until we travel over there and, and try to rescue them and get them out. The UO ship leaves the board because they've captured us. So they're done. The card is off the board. But now the current player rolls a die. Let's see who goes to interrogation. I have to roll the box, correct? Oh uh, yeah. Just to make it easy. And it is. It's nine. a nine, which is good because that's none of the characters in the game are nine. The, the characters, the seven characters are numbers one through seven. If it rolls an eight or a nine, then you get off with a warning and nobody has to go to interrogation, so that's good. We didn't need that. Right now. We caught a break. Okay, so. Okay. I guess I should try this advanced so that we can move. <laughs> Good. Liberty is still stuck with engine failure. We've had that event on the board for a long time. So it's. One more. Wow. Oh, okay. No. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. The, the purples are fail, so I'm going to try to hit it. They both fails, and they're on opposite sides of the box. <laughs> try this one, because I can't Does anything pass? If you add them all together, <laughs> it would pass. One. All you have to do is hit all three. It's a chain reaction kind of thing. You do get the wrong one. I know, but point. I'm almost afraid that I'm going to injure somebody. Like, maybe we should just stay. Well, wow, so risk. Well, okay, that's over because I dropped it. <laughs> you get one more, one more try. You get yeah, one more shot just, at it. Let's no, just, just call it a day. No, you've got to roll it. No, no, no you can't. Can. Can. You had to roll it once, but you didn't have to roll it once. I just dropped it. <laughs> okay. So that failed. So the liberty is still broken. We're still stuck on Kepler, so the resources oh, drop. We need to deliver something. If we don't fix it soon, we're going yeah. to be on Kepler forever. And the, <laughs> the, the only cargo on the board is the one in front of you. And where does that come? Uh, April. Which is where we need to go, right? That's that's where the next objective card is. Yes. So it's now my turn. I drew a cargo. It's picked up on Tau City, so if we get there, great. So, I'm going to try to fix that event. And again, it's yellow, purple, black, and I roll this way. Let you roll first. April roll first. Okay. Successful. They roll second. Success. Okay. Success. Success. So we pass, the event card goes away. Finally. We can move! We can move. We're uh, mobile. Unfortunately, not this turn because my turn is over. The resources do not edge drop. Right? It is now David's turn. Okay. Why don't I draw a card? And why doesn't it be an event? Which one are you? It's a good one. Travel to Muse to pick up some supplies that were dumped by other movers. So. Hmm. That would give us seven resources, mm -hmm. we might want to. which we're in bad yeah, need of. So, I can go to the bridge, move the ship to Earth, activate the bridge, move us to Muse. Then all we have to do is go there, and you get two <laughs> chances to roll the square die. Okay, so the resources drop at the end of Dave's turn. Yes. we got three left. Reactions. And Except that your hand is getting too Okay, so let's try to let's try to get these resources. We need resources. We're gonna try to get that event. 
which is picking up some cargo on the Muse that was left behind. Alright. We need seven resources. So it's the purple and mm -hmm. it's yeah, purple wow. Purple wow. Just roll one of them. Just roll one of the not fair characters. She chooses to do the whole roll and do a not fair character and her character. So blue is a fail. Horrible idea. Well, mine are one. I totally missed that. Second chance. Blue is still a fail. Six. Yeah. Okay, so we got that advance. How many resources? Seven. Seven big resources. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good turn. Excellent. 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 So at the end of her turn, the resources drop again. And it's back to me. Yes, and now we have the pilot flying the ship who can get us toward April post haste. I have another cargo. The pickup is on Kelvin. Okay, so I'm going to move. I have a pickup on talk pay. Just saying. I'm going to move to Earth, and then I'm going to move to the bridge, which allows me to move Liberty again, but my character is the captain, so I can move it twice. So I'm going to go one, two, and my turn is over. Resources drop. David's turn. Cargo on Tau City. Okay, I'm going to go. Can't do that. Won't hurt to be there. I'm going to go move to the drone room and pick up the cargo on top of it. Okay, that's it for him. That's it for me. So we move. Resources drop. Get this turn. Reaction card. My max hand of five. Uh, who has the Tau City pickups? I have one. I have one. Yeah, the only one you can pick up, so. <laughs> who wants to do it? I'm going to move the ship. I'm going to go without a cargo on the table. So. I'm going to go to the kitchen, and I'll have you perform an action pickup. So she's having me pick up the cargo I have waiting for me on Tau City, so it goes to the table on the cargo card, so now it's been picked up. Her turn's over, resources drop, so my turn. A reaction car. So I'm going to move Liberty to April. That's where we need to be. Mm -hmm. So that card flips. The UO warehouse is located in the heart of the largest city on April. You need to sneak into the UO warehouse to steal the crystal. Action. If Liberty is on April, you may attempt the skill check below, which requires navigation, strength, and intelligence. Move, if successful, move this card to the bottom of the stack and reveal objective three. Okay, so that's objective two. It's been turned over so we can now try that objective. So let's just finish out my turn and let's try that objective. And that'll be enough for the demonstration because I don't want to give too much of the objective cards away. But let's try that skill check to finish things up. So we need green, which is a non-player character. I'll roll and we'll let uh, you two roll for the wilds and then I'll roll the square die. So, I assume I go first. No, let's have you go. Let's have <laughs> okay. Dave go first, and then me, and then April. The big two. Yellow is a fail, so I'm going to try to hit the yellow. Oh, great. You hurt me badly. <laughs> is green a pass? Green is a pass. It's and a yellow max is pass. injured, so we need purple to hit the yellow guy. Mine's a three. This is a pass. Okay, so we need to hit the, hit the purple without hitting the green. But you did. Three nines, right? Yes. yes. Three nines, all passes. So we would have beat that objective. But we're going to stop there and let that be where, where we end so we don't give too many of the objective cards away. So that's uh, a few turns of Space Movers. Um, be sure to check out the other videos, the review videos. And if you have any questions, you can always post them in the comments for us. So I hope you enjoyed it, and um, talk to you later.